Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a March favorites because we're already almost at April and I'm not prepared at all. It's Eduardo's second birthday coming up in like two weeks and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like freaking out a little bit. Today's gonna be a favorites and I have some beauty and then I have some non-beauty favorites. And I'm going to start with the lip products because that's probably the most prominent like Thing that stuck out to me this whole entire month was that I wore basically the same lip color almost every single day so I knew I had to talk about my lip color sorry about the light but I'm at a window so the lip liner I think I may have mentioned in a favorites and if I did I apologize but just take it for what it is like I really love this lip pencil so it's Bobbi Brown's Coco it's the one that I have on right now and it's a brownie nude it's a cocoa color basically <laughs> kind of gives you that real nice like 90s look and the lipstick is chanel cocoa oh no i kept saying rouge cocoa it's rouge allure i don't know what the difference is i don't know if it's important but anyway it's rouge allure i need to like change that in pensive and it's the one i have on right now and i had it on in my makeup video like my get ready with me video and it just is the perfect nude. Like nudish, like warm toned nude or like nudie brown on me. I love this so much. And I have been reaching for this color more than any other. I also got the, I think this is Rouge Coco, the one I'm thinking of, in Adrienne. And it's okay, but it looks too browny on me. Like, I like this kind of color where it's like a, still a nude, it's not too brown. This is something that I forgot to mention in last month's favorites, and I really, really wanted to, but I just completely forgot. But it's still this month's favorite too, because I've been using it like nonstop since I started buying it. This is a deodorant, and it's Salt of the Earth Pure Aura. Aura? Aura, whatever, scented with lavender and vanilla. And if you know anything about me, you know that I love vanilla. So anything vanilla scented and I'm there. So that's why I got this, but also because I had heard how normal deodorants are so bad for you because they have aluminium in them and they are known to be, that is known to be carcinogenic, I think. If I got that wrong, sorry, but I think that's pretty much what it is, is that it's like, it's really bad for you and when you put something here that's where like your sweat glands are and so you're like basically they're like open pores almost and you're putting something like directly into your body like into inside your body like it goes into your bloodstream I think so if I got that wrong I'm sorry I'm not like a doctor or anything but I think that's pretty much the general gist of it so I didn't want to be putting something in my body that's like really really bad for it I decided to get this brand because I had heard that this was a good natural like organic I don't know if this is organic but it's natural it's got no aluminium chlorohydrate no alcohol no parabens and no triclosan and it's all natural I'm just gonna be honest with you guys when I first got this I felt like I smelled like a health food shop <laughs> because it does have that I think it's the lavender it does have that kind of like flowery kind of smell of like a health food shop I don't know if that makes any sense but it's grown on me and I do really like it and you know what it works like you don't ever stink or I don't ever stink your BO is kept away and I don't feel like I'm overly sweaty or anything like I feel like it's doing its job cool thing about this is that there's no white marks or streaks or anything like that the only thing is that it's wet because it's like a spray like a body spray so it, it is very wet so you want to like spray it on before you get dressed not after unless you're wearing like a big jumper or something because it will make your armpits look wet for a while but then again it doesn't dry white if that so it doesn't like stain your clothes I feel like I've included this in a favorites video before like from ages ago but I bought this and it is for your feet. This is what I keep on my bedside table because I always moisturize my feet before I go to bed. My feet get really, really dry. It's gross, like it's not a nice thing to talk about, but it's true, like that's just the reality of it. I get like pedicures regularly, but you don't wanna overfile your feet either. I bought this when I was at the spa last time and this is the Cucumber Heel Therapy by CND. So CND is the brand that makes shellac 
and all of that. So this is very thick and it doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell particularly amazing. It kind of smells like cucumbers. So it's not, it's fresh, but it's not like an amazing smell or anything. It's just very, very thick. It's very concentrated. You're only supposed to use like a tiny amount. And I just put it on every single night on my heels and I swear they're softer. Like I swear they're so much softer. In general I really do recommend this um, it is kind of pricey I think but again you only use like a teeny tiny amount on your heels and it's for like very very dry heels so you shouldn't get it if you're like absolutely fine and you don't have that problem and then this is like so not spring like or springtime ish but if you know me you'll know that I go through things like I have to use everything up before I buy something new like generally speaking I am like that not all the time but a lot of the time. I don't like wasting things. I don't like wasting my money. <laughs> so I bought these from Bath and Body Works back in October and I've only just started using them this month and I'm almost finished with this but I'm as you can see I'm like only not even halfway through this. So this is again from Bath and Body Works. It's the winter candy apples. It's not for spring at all but it's still a nice scent. So that's a shower gel body cream and I know it's supposed to be for Christmas time, but it does still smell really good and just like sugary and apple-y. It says it's got red apple, winter rose, <laughs> petals, candied orange, maple leaf, fresh cinnamon. So it's basically everything that I love. So I use this in my shower right now and then I use this after my shower, like when I'm not tanning and it, you know what, when I moisturize my body, it keeps my tan looking so amazing, like the whole rest of the time until I tan again if you know what I mean I usually tan like twice a week so the other days if I use a moisturizer my tan lasts amazing if I don't use a moisturizer and if I'm lazy my tan fades quicker so it's a good tip moving on to hair so I got some new hair products like hair like shampoo and conditioner and I bought these from cult beauty I think back when I bought the Amazon I can't remember what it was called. Amazon Beauty, I think, like the shampoo and conditioner. I wanted to try like a whole bunch of different ones. And I liked the Amazon ones, but I don't I remember telling you guys that the shampoo it doesn't lather very well. And I know it's like organic and natural, so that's probably why. And a lot of people kept saying to me that that's a good thing when it doesn't lather, but it still annoys me. Like I have a lot of hair, like I have quite thick hair and so it just annoys me because I feel like I have to use so much more shampoo. This one is by the brand, I don't know whether to call it Davines or Dav Davines. Davines? Davines? I don't know. I could be saying that completely wrong because I've never heard that word before. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the Valu shampoo and this is the new new conditioner. And this looks like a box of mayonnaise <laughs> or salad cream or something, but it's not. The packaging is kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Like, I think it's kind of cool. It's like different. So the Volu shampoo is volume enhancing shampoo. It says for fine or limp hair, which I don't have. So it's probably not the best shampoo for my hair. Like my hair is dry and thick, but I do like lots of volume. So that's kind of why I got it. And this brand, Davines or Davines or whatever we're gonna call it, is a really good like natural brand so that's why I picked these two and then the condition like this conditioner is freaking amazing like it's like a hair mask every single time so it's really thick and smells really good and it's just it goes on like a hair mask and because I only wash my hair twice a week I feel like I can afford to do that um, so this says nourishing conditioner for highly processed or brittle hair <laughs> I would say my hair is not highly processed, but I do get it colored. What I really love about these, and this is purely marketing, like this is nothing to do with the products. This is how I'm like the best person to be tricked into good marketing. Okay, so it says with turnip root extract from Mrs. Ferrari's farm in Italy, Cuneo, Italy. And then this one says with tomato extract from Mr. Di Latte's farm in Italy. <laughs> I feel like an idiot, but that somehow appeals to me. Aside from that, the shampoo and conditioner are really good and I'm gonna be re re reapplying. I'm gonna be repurchasing these rather than the Amazon ones because I think these I like better. Another hair thing, because I've kind of been like into hair right now, like lately, I've just been kind of enjoying 
hair and like it's my hair's got longer and I just really like I'm into taking care of it and all that kind of stuff so I, I didn't buy this this came in a box from feel unique they gave me like a I got like a free beauty box I think because I don't even know why but maybe because I bought so much I'm not sure but anyway so this is the it's basically Moroccan oil it's like everybody knows what it is this is amazing for your hair like I use this almost every day I just put it into the ends because my hair is dry so I feel like it needs a bit more moisture and you just only use like a teeny tiny amount it comes out like I won't be able to show you I love the smell as well you smell like you've just been to the um, hairdressers it smells so good but anyway it you only need a tiny amount and I just distribute it through the ends and it just kind of like keeps it really glossy looking and keeps it looking fresh. This is not a food or a beauty item. It's kind of just like random. It's like, I don't even know what to call it, a gadget. But I felt like I needed, I was grabbing my beauty products that I wanted to do for this favorite video and then I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I need to tell you guys about this. This is so one of my favorites for the month. So I bought this from John Lewis and at first glance it looks like nothing but I swear to you guys this has changed my life so when I'm doing my makeup basically what I usually do is that's my time to like watch YouTube videos or watch snap snap stories or whatever so I'll always what I used to do is set up my phone but like have like a candle and like my perfume and a deodorant maybe and like all different things like balancing the phone like in one place and it would fall lots of times and like it would just be annoying and then I was on John Lewis and I was buying just other stuff for the home and I saw this this is like a clear perspex just stand for your phone but it's freaking amazing like let me show you my phone case is annoying but stand my phone in it and I watch all my YouTube videos and it stays in place and I don't have to balance it against anything else and I just keep this little stand like on my makeup table and it's perfect. So if you have something like that where you know you always watch YouTube videos at a certain time, like get one of these and just put it wherever you usually watch because it's amazing. I will try and link, I'll try and link down below where I found because I don't know what the brand is or anything but it's from John Lewis. Now we're going to move on to the exciting bit which is food. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sad. So I'm going to start with something that's very Easter-ish. One of my favorite things about Easter is hot cross buns I'm obsessed with these and I brought them up to this room to film and like the room is just basically the aroma is hot cross buns which is like perfect because that's like one of my favorite smell like if they could put that in a candle I would buy it 100% I would buy it what I love about these though is that they're kind of healthy so I bought these from Waitrose well Acado but it's Waitrose brand and it's four fruity and flavorsome whole meal hot cross buns and I didn't even know you could get wholemeal hot cross buns like I just didn't even realize but these it says wholemeal so you might expect them not to be as nice or something but they're delicious like you wouldn't even tell the difference I can't tell the difference at all but they're better for you obviously because they're wholemeal so they're not as naughty as a normal hot cross bun but you're still getting your hot cross bun fix so I've been having these for breakfast and they're oh my god they're just amazing with butter oh my favorite I think I was meant to be like a piece of bread <laughs> I just love bread <laughs> and carbs and just basically all stuff that's meant to be bad for you I love but seriously like if I don't have carbs I feel like I'm dying so this has been a staple in my diet I bought this tea and this is by the brand Clipper. It's organic. And this is their Rise and Shine Infusion Tea. It's a breakfast tea. And, okay. This I bought specifically because I struggle with digestive issues. Like, ever since I had Eduardo, so when I was pregnant with Eduardo, I had really, really bad constipation. Sorry if, it's, if that is TMI, but that's just real life. Like, it happens. But it was really horrible. Like that was like the worst thing, the worst pregnancy symptom that I had ever experienced was that. It was just awful. So then after I had him, 
it was okay. Like I did go back to normal-ish. I could go for like a couple of days and be absolutely fine, but then one day it's not. So I heard that by drinking a cup of hot tea, like especially hot like lemon tea in the mornings, that kind of helps to get your system moving. So I bought these ones and it does work. It has helped considerably. So if you have the same issues as me, then you might want to try this. So I drink it first thing in the morning before having anything else. I try and do that, especially like sometimes it can be hard, especially if I'm really hungry and I want to eat. But I try and like leave it at least a few minutes before eating. So I'll have my tea, then have my breakfast and my water and then probably have coffee afterwards because I can't help myself. But it's really, really good and it does work to help you get more regular. This is my, become my favorite ever peanut butter and I'm obsessed with peanut butter anyway. Like I love peanut butter flavored anything, like anything, <laughs> chocolate, whatever. But peanut butter is like one of my favorite things to have as a snack. I'll usually have a banana and peanut butter after I work out. That's like my favorite post-workout snack. But I was having, I've tried like lots and lots of different brands and I've tried this one before, the Whole Earth Organic, but I had it in the chunk, or what's it called? Chunky? Crunchy. Crunchy kind. This is the smooth kind and it's like 100 times better. It's got absolutely no added sugar and it is organic. This is to die for. Like I really love this stuff and I really wholeheartedly recommend, get it whole whole earth wholeheartedly <laughs> recommend it i've got granola and i've got granola bars <laughs> clearly i have a granola craving but no granola is just like one of those things that you could just eat for days like or at least i could because again it's a carb this one is the one that we just bought for like breakfasts so i don't have these two together but you know this is the root health organic granola it's the ultimate and it is so good, like so yummy. I have this with natural Greek yogurt in the morning and put fruit on top and it's to die for. And like, I tried it with, um, I tried giving Emilia and Eduardo this and initially they didn't even know what it was. So they didn't like, they weren't too keen, but as soon as they tasted it, they loved it. I put some honey on there as too to sweeten it a little bit. It's got oats, sunflower oil, spelt flakes, honey, barley flakes, date syrup, roasted almonds, sunflower seeds, puffed, amaranth and roasted hazelnuts and it is so delicious for a snack this has become one of my favorite it's like my go-to afternoon snack so i try and incorporate fruit into my snack all the time like no matter when i snack unless it's like a naughty snack like a dessert or something i try to generally during throughout the day i try to snack on fruit but then i have to add something else because otherwise i would just get too hungry so this is amazing for like an afternoon snack with a coffee. It's like perfection. These are Nature's Path Organic Gluten-Free Nice and Knobbly Granola Bars and they're the trail mix variety. So Jonathan likes the chocolate chip, the dark chocolate chip. I don't really like that one. I like these because they're just full of like nuts and seeds and they've got almonds in them, which I'm obsessed with. And they remind me of the American Kind Bars because Kind Bars you can't get here unless you have, you're lucky enough to be near like a Whole Foods or something like that, which we're not. Cause I saw them at Whole Foods and I got really excited, but there's not one near us. So I can't get it. They're just really yummy and they just like curb that sweet craving and they kind of keep you a bit fuller in between meals because of all the nuts and seeds in there. I look forward to this like every day. That's how sad my life is. Those are my favorites for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more. I have videos coming Mondays, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, <laughs> Wednesdays and Fridays and I will see you in my next one which will be a what a Wednesday. Bye!